you never know when a financial emergency might strike. So it makes sense to be prepared by having enough cash on hand to cover those common household contingencies. And personal finance specialist and our good friend Skip Cowan is finally back to tell <laughs> us why we should all have at least 500 bucks on hand and how we can actually make that happen in a relatively short period oh, of time. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, you're gonna be surprised how fast it happens as a matter of fact. Really? Yeah, but first of all, let me tell you why you should do it. Okay, okay. All right? I mean, think about this. If you come out one morning, you're gonna get in your car and there's a flat tire. It's happened. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. Mm -hmm. And you take the tire down, hoping, well, we'll get it fixed. It'll be 20 bucks. Right. And the guy says, you know what? There's damage on the outside of the tire here. We can't fix it. You got to replace the tire. Guess what? You just spent 100 bucks. Exactly. It happened could, to me in this parking lot. Hey, yep. Could be a budget buster, right? Yep, yep. So it makes sense to have enough cash mm -hmm. on hand so that you don't bust your budget when those emergencies happen. Okay, but let's talk reality for a moment and discuss what is the first step to saving the 500 bucks because we all want to have it, but how do we save it you so know, that we do have it? There, there are real three real easy methods to do it. Okay. And, they, and really, if it works in combination, it's even easier. Really? Okay. But the first thing you've got to do before you start the three is, is break the habit of always using your debit card or a credit card. Bad because I, well it's not necessarily a bad habit cashless is not a bad thing mm -hmm. except that it makes it difficult to save money it does it really it does. does hey so, i'll give you a good example yeah. i mean when you go to a restaurant you need a, or a hotel valet parking and you need to tip somebody things yep. like that yep. that's when i always realize oh i should really keep cash well, you, on you hand you ought to have cash on hand right yes yes and so get get in the habit of having 100 bucks in your pocket mm -hmm. And, and, and spend it wisely, of course. Okay. But keep this in mind. Every time a $5 bill crosses your hand, yes. put it in a separate pocket and save it. Oh. Now, you haven't spent it. You still got it. It's not going anywhere, okay. right? Okay, yes. But you've saved it. It is amazing how fast. My wife and I started playing this little game with the $5 bill about okay. four months ago. Uh huh. We saved $300 in two months. Are you kidding me? I couldn't believe it. I love that. I couldn't believe it. Okay, so that's the first method. What's another method? The second method is never, I mean never, spend your spare change. Really? Yeah. I do got, it all the time. Uh, a lot of folks do. You know, yeah. a lot take cost, 11, whatever it a is. Big gulp, who and knows, you put yeah. the 50 cents out, right? And exactly. I never do it. I put the extra dollar uh -huh. and put the change in my pocket and I save it. Okay. Last year, my wife and I saved $450 <gasps> just on loose change. Oh my gosh, so you're, you're really practicing what you're preaching. Absolutely, it just makes sense to me. It really does. And the last thing, this is really easy. Is? Just every time that you have a debit card purchase, uh -huh. round up to the nearest dollar when you enter it in your checkbook. Oh, that's a good idea too. It's simple. Now, yeah, I mean, maybe you save two cents here, nickel there, maybe 99 cents on one. Okay. By the end of the, of the year, you ought to have maybe between 80 and 100 bucks saved up. These are such so, good tips. Well, figure it out. I mean, three months, 300 bucks, we did it. I love it. Unreal. So $500 is an easily attainable goal. Yes. And and it never leaves you. It's, a, it's not like it's in the bank someplace where you can't get it. Right. It's right, it's right in your pocket all the time. I love it. A I love great it tip from Skip. <laughs> Always. Thank you. So good to have you. I'm taking that advice. Really good advice. I hope you do. Thank you.